The iconic buildings, bridges and landmarks of St Andrews have stood the test of time for hundreds of years and are synonymous with the game of golf. In 1873, the Open Championship was first played over the Fife Links. And as the old course hosts its 29th Open, we delve deep into our archives to find our favourite St Andrews moments. Here's our top ten. Number 10 comes from defending champion Rory McIlroy, who in 2010 yeah. shot the lowest opening round in the 150-year history of the tournament. McIlroy played his final 10 holes in a staggering eight under par to match the course record and become one of only eight players to shoot 63 in the Open Championship. When Bobby Jones first played the Open at St Andrews, the story goes he walked off the course after failing to escape a bunker on the 11th. When Jones returned in 1927, his fortunes would change and his love for the famous Lynx was born. Our favourite moment came in 1930, when Jones won the Amateur Championship, becoming the first and only player to win all four majors in a calendar year. With his performance at the 1990 Open, it's easy to see why Nick Faldo is Europe's leading major winner. With this fabulous eagle on the final hole of his first round, Faldo leapt to an opening 67. In true Faldo fashion, he hit fairway after fairway and went on to shoot three more rounds of 65, 67 and 71. His record-breaking 18 under par total would give him his second claret jug and make him the first person since Tom Watson in 1982 to win two majors in the same year. Before 1960, many Americans had never heard of the Open Championship, but that all changed thanks to Arnold Palmer. The King journeyed across the pond for the first time in the centenary year of the tournament and captured the hearts of the public with his flamboyant style. After winning the Masters and the US Open in 1960, Palmer was looking to make it three majors in a row. He finished second to Kel Nagel by a single stroke, but Arnie's army was born. Over the years, the 18th has witnessed some incredible scenes, and the 1995 Open provided one such moment. Needing an up and down to force a playoff with John Daly, Costantino Rocca fluffed his chip into the Valley of Sin. With one hand already on the trophy, Daly couldn't believe his eyes when he saw what happened next. A truly iconic St Andrews moment. Thirty-five years after he'd famously first made the journey to St Andrews, 1995 also saw Arnold Palmer bid farewell to the old course. Whilst Palmer may never have won over the famous Lynx, his appearance in 1960 and his victories in 61 and 62 are strongly credited for making the Open what it is today. His reception on the final green truly fitting for such a champion. Given his recent woes, it's sometimes easy to forget that Tiger Woods has won 14 major titles, including three Open Championships. It took Tiger six attempts before he finally won the Open, but when he broke his duck in 2000, he became the youngest player to capture the career Grand Slam. With his family and loved ones watching, Tiger remarkably avoided all of St Andrew's punishing bunkers for an eight-shot victory. His 19 under par total set a new scoring record for the championship that's yet to be beaten. Woods would go on to win again on this most famous of Lynx courses, adding his name to the claret jug for a second time in 2005. In 1970, Jack Nicklaus and Doug Sanders had an epic battle over the old course. Sanders' missed putt on the final green cost him the title, 
and 17 playoff holes later, they found themselves back on the same green. This time, it was Nicholas who had a putt to win, and he didn't miss. It was Nicholas's second Open victory and his first at the old course. The Golden Bear would win again at St Andrews in 1978, but nothing could live up to the drama of 1970. A truly unforgettable moment and a humble champion, Nicholas would describe the victory as one of his best. I've always wanted to win the old course. If you're going to be a player that's going to be remembered, you must win at St Andrews. As I said earlier in the week, I can't think of a course I'd rather win at and my wishes come true. In 1984, Tom Watson and Severiano Ballesteros battled blow for blow on the sun-kissed links. Seve needed a birdie on the final hole to win his second Open Championship. With Watson in the group behind, Seve's must-make putt on the final green almost certainly guaranteed him the famous claret jug. His iconic celebration was broadcast around the world, and his beaming smile will never be forgotten. With Ballesteros in the clubhouse, Watson had to hold his approach on the 18th to force a playoff. Not wanting to leave it short, Watson went long and the trophy went to the Spaniard. In 2005, it was 18-time major champion Jack Nicklaus's turn to say goodbye to the Open, and he couldn't have picked a more fitting venue. Jack won twice over the old course and walked over the Swilcombe Bridge many times. In a career spanning over 50 years, Nicholas won three claret jugs and finished second on seven occasions. Playing with five-time Open champion Tom Watson and with his son on the bag, Nicholas was watched by royalty. His birdie putt on the final green was reminiscent of the putt he hold in 1970 and made for a fairy tale send-off. It was the end of an era for the Golden Bear, and an emotional Watson couldn't hide his feelings. 2015 will be Watson's final Open Championship, and we're certain it will be just as poignant. <laughs>